Okay, guys and girls, I was put uh, an article this way by a guy who follows me on Twitter, and it's in the information box. It's quite interesting, and it kind of like makes a suggestion. I mean, obviously, it's an article. It's a few people's opinion based upon things that have happened, okay? So read it with the right state of mind. But it's kind of like a suggestion that one of the reasons that some of the more uh, extremist, militant, right-wing, fundamentalist, atheistic group uh, objects to ideas or research or hypotheses associated with consciousness research is just in case a god concept comes into society from the back door which of course those of an atheist bent would disagree with strongly uh, and i think i thought that was quite interesting because essentially there is this kind of like overlap between consciousness research universal consciousness ideas and uh, theism or pantheism or de deism and pandeism and of course trans deism which i personally uh, empathize with more as a route towards exploration of the various strange things that can happen under strange circumstances and of course the possibility of consciousness interacting over space and time and therefore hypothetically a connection to a you know a, a universal spirit concept which seems to make sense actually the more of the strange experiences that you have so i just thought i'd put this article your way because i think it's interesting because i think it explains the behavior of various different groups and why for instance some skeptical groups would uh use a particular method shall we say everyone knows what i'm talking about of course to attack people of a certain spiritual orientation but they would then discredit people who use the same tactic against them. Okay? So, it's... I think it sheds a bit of light onto the kind of like spiritual politics that we're experiencing and we're seeing at this present point in time in our uh, human history with the evolution of forms of religious ideas, even those associated with New Age spirituality and uh, experimental occultism and all the rest of that. So have a quick read and see whether you agree with me. And if you don't, hey, I've just given you my opinion, so chillax, alright?